Hey guys, AB Gains here. Welcome back to another subscriber roster review. You guys have been leaving tons of comments. Um, I have a long, long list of these to do, and I'll probably be posting them every single day to every other day uh, in and around Grand Arena lineups and stuff like that. So today we have Jay Schmitty 007. Now let's hop into the roster. I see instantly high relics, which means either credit card characters, which I'm not against, they're fun, or a uh, very targeted crystal allocation. Um, but smart characters, if you guys watched the previous one, um, I might accidentally upload these <laughs> in the wrong order. Uh, he chose characters that have viability in different teams. Like, for example, I mentioned last time, you could go Revan plus Jolie for 63 banners, and then Bastila Sean plus Grandmaster Yoda for uh, 63 banners. And then you have two two-mans against subpar teams since he's under 2 million GP. Uh, dominant. Uh, I would recommend relicking this Darth Vader and throwing the other Zeta on him uh, to have 64 banner potential. I mean, that's pretty clear. Um, I'm noticing some peculiarities. Um, especially, I'm saying, three gear 12 separatists early. Uh, for defensive purposes, where is your new gunnery? So if you use under new gunnery lead, uh, if you go new gunnery, B2 Count Dooku Grievous, and insert other separatist character here, uh, then that's a great defensive team. So I'm not super opposed to that. I need to sneeze and I'm too lazy to edit. One second. <coughs> Sorry, I've been talking literally all day. I am uh, wearing down <laughs> physically. Uh, something else I've noticed, um, the old Republic Zetas and Gear, not a huge fan of personally. Uh, other than that, this roster is pretty good, but um, old Republic is a terrible defensive team. I know if you watch uh, big YouTubers, they like to have Old Republic because they have to throw down 13 care, thirteen squads. So eventually you just run out of teams. But at under 2 million GP, like, like if we went to my roster, my Old Republic, everyone but Joe Lee and Basil Sean, level 50, like gear 4, gear 1, I think. I think or they're probably like gear 4 probably because I just threw like trash stuff on them. But level 50, gear 4, seven stars no zetas uh so not too efficient with these teams but that's fine uh i mean clearly you have stuff to work on like leveling up your padme that's pretty obvious uh the revan i like uh once he gets geared up to obviously he's like gear six right now once he's up higher he'll be much more effective so i like this roster from an offensive standpoint let me just snoop down here. The Geos I found were low, and the Han Solo is low. Um, dude, most important Zeta is the game in the game is the Treya Zeta. The second you unlock Treya, Treya should never be level one for more than half a second. Put her at eighty-five, give her as much gear as humanly possible, and slap that leadership Zeta on her. And Gene Ocean Brood Alpha. Um, it's peculiar. I uh, don't know. And General Kenobi. Okay. Three amazing characters. General Kenobi, Treya, Gene Ocean Brood Alpha. And arguably Han Solo are way too low. Those guys need to be shot up instantly the second this video drops. Um, if you're watching this, 007, level those guys up, throw gear, throw Zeta on Treya, th throw the, the Zeta that brings the Brood in immediately for Brood Alpha. That's where this stuff should have gone. This gear 12 Sal bar, a gear 12 Mace Windu, these resources should have been allocated to those characters for efficiency purposes. Um, maybe you're a KOTOR fan, which... In that case, if you're doing it for fun or for love of Star Wars, then God bless you. Uh, I have no objections to that whatsoever. But if we're talking strictly Grand Arena viability, uh, those would be my recommendations for characters who could take your roster 
uh, to with these relics probably at two million GP unbeatable status if you strategize right and know how the team comps work I'd say probably never lose a match once you get those guys 85 gear 11 Zeta this is a great roster just obviously missing those very important pieces